Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to divide a network into subnets such that each subnet supports certain number of hosts. Um, there is a relationship between the number of hosts and the subnet mask. Uh, if you have x number of hosts in a network, you need at least x plus 2 number of IP addresses. Now this x plus 2 um, relates to the number of host pairs. So now you need to find out a number which is a part of 2 and that number should be just um, greater than or equal to x plus 2. So you need to find a power of 2, let's say 2 to the power h is greater than or equals to x plus 2 <clears throat> and this h to the power whatever the number is just uh, greater than or equal to x plus 2 that h is the number of host bit and from there we can make the subnet mask so let's say we need uh, for example 100 hosts okay so we need at least 102 ip addresses so to the power of what um, to the power what is just greater than or equals to 102. Now let's let's make a power of two different numbers. That, that's a two to the power one is two, to the power two is four, to the power three is eight, to the power four is sixteen, to the power five is thirty-two, to the power six is sixty-four, to the power seven is one hundred and twenty-eight, which is just above. 102. Okay, so to the power 7, this h to the power 7, this 7 is h to the power what is just above the number of IP addresses you need. We got 7. So the number of host bit we need in the subnet mask is 7. Now in subnet mask is 32 bit like uh, IPv4 address and uh, it consists of uh, either zero or one, all the ones on the left side, all the zeros on the right side. So seven host bit means we need seven zero. That tells us 32 minus seven, 25 ones. So we will write the subnet mask in binary, 25 ones and seven zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 24 one more 25 ones and then seven zero because we have seven whole spits one two three four five six seven so uh, this subnet mask sorry this subnet mask I arrange into eight bits and I need to convert this subnet mask new subnet mask we need to use as uh, by a decimal uh, dot a decimal. So first eight bit converted to a decimal is two five. Then I put a dot two five. The second eight bits, third eight bit two five five, and the last eight bit is one one and then seven zero, which gives us one twenty eight. So if you need a network that needs to support at least one hundred hosts, you need to use these. 255.255.255.128 as the subject mask. Doesn't matter what the network you are dividing, you need 100 host, you need to use this subject mask. Let's take another example. If you need, let's say, 30 host, you need at least 32 IP addresses and to the power what is just greater than or equal to 32. We know that to the power 5 is equal to 32. So the number of hosts bit you need is 5. Now I, from this information, I need 5 host bit. I will create a subnet mask. I need 5, 0 in the subnet mask. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, and then 5, 0. 2, 3, 4, 5. This is equivalent to 255.255.255.120. So 
four in dotted uh, decimal. So this is the subnet mask you need to use if you need to divide any network that support 30 host. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's take a network address and let's try to divide it. Let's say we need to divide 203.44.52.0 slash 24 this network into subnets such that each network supports 30 host. So irrespective of the network address, we found that before, if we need to have 30 host in each subnet, we need to use this subnet mask. So I'm taking this as the subnet mask that we need to use, the new subnet mask. The given network has a subnet mask um, slash 24, that means 24 ones, and the rest of them are zero. So 24 ones gives you 818181, and then 80. That means 255.255.255.0, but our new subnet mask we need to use based on the number of hosts is this one. 255.255.255.254. Now, in this new subnet mask, look at the last octet that is not a zero. We see that this is the fourth octet. First, second, third, and fourth. Fourth octet is a not zero. So I write it down, fourth. And then I will calculate the jump for different subnets. To calculate the jump for different subnets, I subtract the subnet mask value from the last subnet mask value that is not zero. It's not necessarily have to be on the last octet. This is the last subnet mask value that is non-zero. So I just subtract this number from 256 it gives me a jump of 32 so the jump is 32 and i'll start building different subnets the first subnet is always always the given network address is always the first subnet okay Second subnet is jump number of IP addresses. So 32 IP addresses more than the previous subnet. Okay. So uh, first subnet is always equal to, I'll say equal to given work. Second subnet is uh, previous work. Plus jump number of IP addresses. So the second subnet would be 203.44.52.0. So the third subnet, again, 32 addresses more than the previous subnet. So previous network address plus jump. So 203 plus 44.52 dot 64. Now I can I can keep going for subnet five six seven, but how far do I need to go? What is the last subnet um, in this network? To find out the last subnet, you need to find out what is the IP range in this network. Now, which IP addresses are in a network? Uh, you can find that from the network address and the subnet mask, and there is another video. Uh, about which IP addresses are in a network. Please watch that video to find the IP addresses in a network. I know that in this network, the last IP address would be 203.44.52.55. And the very next IP address is out of this network, but it's going to be another network address. Um, now, <clears throat> uh, I will find the last subnet, okay, easily. One way to find the last subnet is to keep jumping 32 more for the fourth subnet, 32 more for fifth subnet, and when you go out of this network, 
when you reach an IP address which is out of this network, which is greater than this uh, network address, then you stop. That's not your subnet. The subnet before that is your subnet. So, in fact, if you keep jumping, you will come up with one address more than the last IP address, which is, <coughs> I will say, outside the network address, that one. Outside the network would be, um, let me copy this. If you keep jumping by 32, you will end up here, 256 is an address. However, this is outside the network. So this after your last jump, you come to this address. So one jump before this one, that means 32 addresses before this one, that means 32 addresses less than this IP address is your last submit address. So 203.44.52.32 address less, which is 224. So 32 address less than 256, that is 24. This is the last submit address. Now we got different submit addresses. I could go simply jumping starting from zero, uh, the very first submit address, and then keep going, keep going until I reach out of the network. So this is the last address that is valid within the network, and 32 more than this is out of that network. Okay, so this is the last submit. So the quicker way, if I don't need to find out all subnets, the quicker way to find the last subnet is to go just outside your network. So for that case, you need to figure out what is the address just outside your network. Um, in this case, it is 52.256 and then jump once from that backward, you get two to four. That is the last subnet. Now, I got different subnet addresses. Uh, not only this, for all these subnets, you will have exactly same subnet mask. So all subnets, the same subnet mask. Um, sometimes you need to find out the broadcast address as well as uh, the usable IP addresses in each subnet. Let's find usable IP addresses in this subnet. You know, the first usable IP address is one address more than your network address. So one address more. And the broadcast address is one address less than the next network address. So the broadcast is u.31. And the last usable IP is one address less than the broadcast. So 52. In other words, you could say the last usable IP is two addresses less than the next network address. So 42.30. Again, I want to find the usable IP address range in uh, the second subnet. So I'll make it bigger. So, sorry, usable IP is 203.30. Uh, 44.52 one address greater than the network address so 33 and it goes up to two addresses less than the next subject address so 64 minus 2 that is 62 Two three dot four four dot five two dot sixty two addresses less than the next subject address. All right. Um, let me arrange this a little bit to look at so that it 
looks a little bit better. Looks like a table. Okay, so the how about the usable IP address range of this third subject? Again, IP range. One address more than the start from two or three dot four four dot five two dot sixty five, and two address less than the next submit address. What is uh, the next submit address? Sixty four plus thirty two. That gives you ninety six. So ninety six minus two is ninety four. Right. So two or three. Dot four four dot five two dot ninety four. That's the last usable IP address. And again, broadcast is one address less than the next network address. So you know the next network address is ninety six. Ninety four is the broadcast. Next for this subnet, next network address is sixty four. Sixty three is the broadcast. And for this first subnet, the next network address is 32. So 31 is the broadcast for the first subnet. Now let's take a look at the last subnet. Again, the usable IP range 203.44.52. 125 starting from 125 goes up to one address, sorry, two address less than this. So 203.44.52.254. Okay, so this is a usable um, IP address range. The broadcast address would be 203.44.52.255. One address less than the next. Network address. Uh, the this I'm saying the outside the network because it's not part of the our network address range. All right. So you got all the information you need. Uh, where we started, we started. You will be given a network address, and then you need to divide the network into subnets so that each network supports 30 hosts. If network supports 30 hosts, that's where you start. We need at least 32 IP addresses to the power of what is just greater than or equal to 32. To the power of 5 is 32. So number of host bit is 5. We put the binary form of the subnet mask where you have 5, 0, and the rest of them are 1s on the left side. Convert them back into decimal. So we got this 255, 255, 255, 224. Now, this is our new subnet mask. The given network address, now we need the given network address, uh, which is in this example 203.44.52.0 slash 24. This is our slash 24 is the given network uh, subnet mask, but our new subnet mask we need to use for every subnet is this one that we calculated just before. And then uh, we see that the non zero plus non zero subnet mask is on the fourth octet. So I mark it down and the jump is 256 minus that last non zero subnet mask value is 2 to 4. So 32 is our jump. Now I will start building different subnets. The first subnet is always the given network address. So this is the first subnet. Second subnet is 32 address more. Third subnet is 32 address more than the previous and so on. Now, the subnet mask is one address less than the next subnet address. So the subnet mask for the first, sorry, um, let me repeat. The broadcast address, not the subnet mask, the broadcast address is one address less than the next subnet address. So the broadcast address for the sub -sub first subnet is uh, one address less than 52.32, which is 52.31. Usable IP address one address more than the subnet address is the start, and one address less than the subnet address, uh, one address less than the broadcast address is the end, or two address less than the next subnet address is the end of the usable 
happy range. Similarly, we have this example. I'm going to take a um, um, few other examples. Let's take a look at uh, what if you need to divide your network into some methods, suppose 500 hosts. Again, you need at least 502 IP addresses. Um, to the power what? To the power of what is just greater than or equals to 502. You will see that uh, to the power 9 is 512. So I have nine host bits. That means I need to have 9 0 in the submit mask. We'll convert this to 0 and one more to 0. Now if I put this into dot decimal 55. Dot two five five dot two five four dot zero. This is the subnet mask you need to use. What if you need to uh, divide a network into subnets that uh, support thousand host? So you need at least two thousand and two IP addresses to the power of to the power of eleven is greater than 2 because 2 to the power of 10 is 1024 and 2 to the power 11 is 2048. So I need 11 host bits. Okay. So I'll make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 plus 3. So I will have 5, 1, 5. And then three zero, and then one two three four five six seven eight. So this is going to be the subnet mask. If you need to divide a network into subnet that supports two thousand host, okay. So the subnet mask becomes two five five dot two five five dot um one two three four five seven two four eight dot zero. This is going to be the subnet mask for each subnet. If you need to have subnets that supports 2000 host, all right. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at another network address. Let's say you are given another network address uh, 160, 134. 56. 64. 0 slash 18. In fact, look, this is a class P network, but I'm not using slash 16, I'm using slash 18. So that means this is already a subnet. I need to divide this subnet into subnets such that each subnet supports, let's say, 2000 host. So, sorry, each subnet needs to support 2000 host. Now I will go back to where we calculated the subnet mask that uh, suppose 2000 host. If we need to have a subnet that supports 2000 host, this needs to be our subnet mask. So, this is something you need to calculate again. And then, <coughs> this is going to be our subnet mask 255.255.248. Now, look in this example, the last non zero subnet mask is on the third octet not on the fourth octet so i'm marking it this is on the third octet just to remember and then the jump on the third octet now jump on the third octet two five six minus two five two two forty eight which gives you a jump of eight okay now the first subnet is always the given network address. I'll write it down. The second subnet is eight address, this jump amount of address on the third octet, not on the fourth octet. So remember here, third octet is our jump. So one three four dot five six dot sixty-four plus eight. Uh, 
72.0 and the third subnet is 24.56.72 plus 8 which is 80.0 okay um last subnet to find out the last subnet i actually need to know what is my range of ip address in this network i know that from this network the uh, ip address 134.56.128.0 is just outside the boundary of this network 4.0 network goes from 54.656.64.0 and goes up to 134.56.127.255. So 128.0 is just outside the boundary. Okay, I'm gonna write 127.255, but 128.0 is just outside the boundary. So uh, let's write it down. This is for the other example. Okay, so let's take this IP address and just outside the boundary is twenty eight point zero. Right, so I want to go back calculation and eight address on the third octet before this is the subnet last subnet address. So one three four dot fifty six dot one hundred and twenty dot zero is the last subnet address. Now let's find other information for this network, such as usable IP range. Um, The range of course the broadcast address you can uh, you can find easily one address less than the next subnet address so 71.255 134.56.71.255 is the broadcast for the first subnet and one address less than the broadcast which is 134.56. 71.254 is the last usable IP. Okay, so first usable is one address more than the network address. So 134.56.64.1 is the first usable, last usable is 71.254. 71.255 is the broadcast, 72.0 is the next network, and so on. So I'm going to quickly write uh, as well like revenge. 72.1 and 24.56.64.1. dot one and goes up to one three four dot five six eighty eight dot zero so eighty seven dot two five four okay let's take a look at the last subnet hundred twenty one three four dot five six dot twenty dot one the first usable and one three four dot five six dot twenty seven dot two five four is the last usable IP address in the last subnet.
All right. I hope um, you got these examples. You can make up your own examples by taking different um, network addresses and different number of holes and try to solve the problem. Um, if there is an error, any error in this uh, process, please let me know. I hope there is uh, no error. But this is the process. You'll be given a network address with the subnet mask and the information like how many hosts it needs to support. So you start from there, how many hosts you need to support. You take two extra IP address, one for network, one for broadcast, and make a calculate, keep calculating two to the power something that is just above the number of IP addresses you need. And then to the power, whatever it is, that number to the power, the number is the number of host bit. Put into binary um, the subnet mask by putting the same number of zero as the number of host bit, and the rest on the left side out of 32 bit as one. Separate them into 8 bit um, octets and then convert them into dot decimal. Now you got the new subnet mask information from the number of host bits that you need. And then uh, now we write down the subnet mask information that you need. Start with the network address that is given. Note and at which octet you have the last non-zero subnet mask value. Here's the fourth octet, here's the third octet. Now calculate the jump on that octet 256 minus the non zero subnet mask value here 32 here uh, is 8. Now I start making different subnet addresses. The first subnet is always the network address itself that is given. Second subnet is jump addresses away on the octet that is changing. So remember that um, which octet. So you keep adding. The jump address on that octet. Here is the second op third octet. So I added eight is the jump on the third octet. Eight is the jump on the third octet. In this example, it's fourth octet and the jump is 32. So I added 32 on the fourth octet and so on. In this way, you can uh, keep jumping and find all the network addresses. Whenever you go out of the network, you stop. Okay. A quicker way to find the last subnet is to get your um, address which is just outside the network and then jump backward <laughs> with the number of IP addresses that you got as a jump. Okay, so in this example 252.256 which is an invalid IP address is outside, just outside the network and 32 address less than 25 this this 256 which is just outside the network um, is 24 so this is the last submit address in this example 128.0 is the uh, very next um, network address which is not in this network but just one address outside the network and I'm jumping backwards eight addresses on the third octet. Um, and so I get this the last subnet address. All right, so from there, you calculate the uh, usable IP addresses, subnet mask. Subnet mask is always one address less than the next subnet address. So subnet mask for the first subnet is one address less than the second subnet address. The subnet mask for the second subnet is one address less than the third subnet address. And first usable IP address is one address more than the, the subnet address itself. So uh, first usable IP on the first subnet is one address greater than the first subnet address. Um, second subnet's first usable IP is the one address greater than the subnet itself. And the last usable IP is two addresses less than the next subnet address here. Um, 32 minus 2 is 30. 
72.0 minus 2 uh, is this little bit tricky you cannot uh, subtract 2 from 0 so you go back to 71.254 all right and the very last uh, subnet if you have a lot of subnets you can <coughs> jump to the last subnet you have if you have a very few subnet you can uh, keep jumping starting from the first subnet second third fourth and find all of them you will not make a mistake if you are not confident about finding the last subnet by going backward then just go forward by jumping and you will uh, come up with the last subnet eventually all right I hope uh, you understood the process and will be able to solve any problem that asks you to divide a subnet, so to divide a network into subnets with certain number of hosts. Thank you.